Hello, boys and girls, I am your German snob, and I welcome y'all back to another episode of Let's Play Postal 2. Now, last time we were locked into an evil BDSM rape dungeon by a bunch of uh, hillbilly rapists. And today we are trying to break out while still dressed in a gimp suit. Because, of course. Now, we don't have any weapons, if only because the. Uh, the gun that one guy was carrying only had two bullets left in it, which kinda sucks. And which means that I have to rely on what I can find here. Like that baton and Molotov cocktails. I've never used those, if only because I'm kind of afraid that I will only set myself on fire if I try to use them against an enemy, but maybe it works. Who is that guy who's on these things? Because he seems familiar. And part of me wants to say maybe that's former Russian foreign minister something something Molotov after whom the Molotov cocktail was named but I might very well be wrong about that. That's kind of interesting actually. Molotov cocktails weren't actually named after... Look at that guy right here. Well, they weren't named after him for one, but... Um, Molotov cocktails were actually named after a former Russian foreign relations minister. Not because he invented them, but... That's the ticket. Because for a long time, he um, tried to pass off... Um, Russian military interventionism in, I think it was Finland, as providing human humanitarian aid and as delivering um, food to the country, which is why um, some parts of the Finnish army started to uh, make makeshift explosives out of alcoholic drinks. And calling them in honor of Minister Molotov, Molotov cocktails, claiming that they were just their way to uh, serve the Russian beta cocktail. And I picked up a newspaper. What does it say? Yeah, Paul's. I suspect the motor key will pass by without incident due to the fact that all the cars yeah, we already know that. Well, at least we are armed now. That is pretty neat, even though. Uh, there is not much in the way of ammo in a shotgun, which means that I have to rely on the handgun and perhaps on melee weapons. Look at these guys. There's a lot of them. Fuck it, totally going to use the shotgun. See? Only nets me more ammo. Now come here. Damn. Well, at least he's dead now. And so is he. I wouldn't have actually needed to shoot him because he only had a shovel as a weapon. But it was a risk I didn't want to take. Can I sneak up on them? I don't think so. Oh! Die! Now I can't feel my legs. And he's going to get a. Well, actually, no, just going to use the handgun on him. It's kind of a shame that headshots don't really kill. Enemies have that real tendency to walk away from them quite unfazed. Which is something that seems rather clunky from like today's perspective in a video game. Really Health kit. By the way, you don't want to jump in there. I think it's going to hurt. Oh, by the way, yeah. I don't think I've ever mentioned it, but I should have brought this up earlier in the Let's Play. This Let's Play is not quite blind, but 
for one, it's been a long time since I've last played this game, and um, I've also didn't play it all the way through. I'm going to save here, just to make sure. I was about to say, yeah, I didn't play it all the all the way through the first time I play it. Just I think I'm up to. I think it was Thursday. And I didn't even play first day the whole way through, so that should at least still keep it fresh. So what do I do? Jump on there or try to get below it? Well, it doesn't seem to be much of an option. <sighs> or rather, it doesn't seem to be much of a choice. There is a health pipe, but I don't want to rely on these too strongly because they have some pretty bad side effects. And now, all the way back we go. I am expecting to encounter more enemies. So, get my shotgun out. And look at him right here. Time to deus ex this. Well, deus ex. <laughs> I might as well have just said time to thief this, but eh, you know what? <coughs> Who cares? Handgun? Yeah. Oh. Okay. And dead. The other one is just out of my reach. Just. Now there he is. Still alive and shit. Not anymore. And dead. Huh? Anymore? How about it? No, it doesn't seem to be that way. I'm quite happy that this game isn't actually hard. Though I do play it only on uh, on medium difficulty or average difficulty, so there's that. Grenades! I don't think I've used any of those up to now. So I might maybe do that at some point. Now this looks somewhat dangerous, so I'm going to make a save here. If only to avoid having to play it all over again later on. I'm gonna take that one. Oh my god! And... See, I expected that to happen. That's why I saved there. There was just no way I wouldn't die here. Now this time I'm going to be more careful. And by more careful I mean die all over again. Uh, you know, I hate these kind of sections because in first person games you tend to have a not very good idea of where you are standing in relation to everything else. In third person, I think something like that would be easier. But first person perspective is not really cut out. I'm gonna make a cut here. Well, here I go! What do I do now? Can I reach that platform right there? No, I don't think so. I think I have to maneuver myself around here. Time to duck down and... Well, that would be that. It wasn't really hard, it was just... Again, it's kind of hard. Yeah, well, fuck off. I hope that he would set set some of his friends on fire too, but he didn't. Oh yes, he did actually. That's what I was hoping for. One dead. The other will be soon to follow. Well, actually one was dead already. Nice. 
Ah. Now the flowers will grow. Yes, they will. Well, that was fun. Yeah, no, you're dead already. Just give up. Give up, I said. Okay, so... That was that. Nothing easier than that, actually. And in case you didn't notice up to now, uh, we are in a brewery right now. And there's another guy. Soon he will be a gunner. There are two of them. Yep, that was him. And that was him. Uh, I do have an assault rifle. Maybe I should actually use it. I mean, why am I making it harder than it needs to... Ah, shit. There are more of them? Well, not bad. He's dead. So is he. That's the one. The gene pool and is so stagnant, is he. And I am the minister of glory. And a lot of these one-liners repeat. But that's fine, I guess. Wait, wait, wait. I want to use a grenade. It's probably a waste on that guy, but eh. at least I want to have used it once. That was worth it! Oh, for oh Christ's sake. <laughs> but it would have been pretty neat if it hit, wouldn't it have been? Yes, it would. And more of them are already waiting. And I think I want to heal myself. I think I have a healing item somewhere in my inventory. Not the pipe, but... I feel better already. Yep, that. Thanks. I didn't see it there, guys. Oh, fucking hell. Will you die already? Thank you. You too. And I'm out of ammo. Just look at what you made me do. If only I had kept my grenades. Or just have used a Molotov cocktail. But there's no reason crying on the screen. I don't actually hit you, do I? Okay, fine, that was that. Maybe I actually should use one of the pipes to heal myself. This can't be good for me, but I feel great. But chances are that it's going to bite me in the ass later on. Okay, totally going to use the Molotov. Look at that. Totally worth it. You know what I rather enjoy about this game? The sounds that the weapons make. It's very loud and satisfying. It's one of these little things that I appreciate in a video game. Okay, he's running away. Why does he do that? No, seriously. Stop. Well, he just fell to his death. That sucks for him, I suppose. Is there anything in that little uh, cranny here? No, there isn't. Did I already pick up the ammo here? No, I don't think I did. Well, the problem is that shotguns make for pretty bad long-range weapons. Now, I've seen a guy here, I think he's up there. So much for him. 
Any more? Huh? No? Yes, actually, because I can hear them. My president is Chuck Heston. Here's your rebate, you damn dirty apes. <laughs> and another one. What's up there on his little uh, thing here? Yeah? Nothing? Okay, just seems to. Oh, wait, wait first aid kit, though. That was good. And some ammo, that is even better. But where do I go now? I go here now. He should have blown himself up there, but he didn't. Oh, they're using grenades, though they can't aim for shit, so it's not very effective. Well, that's their problem, isn't it? Now, f where do I go from here? Oh, but there seems to be the safest option. No? I can't jump here? Fine. And another one. Uh, what I want to mention is... This part of the game is somewhat different from what we've seen so far. And that it's far more linear. It's really rather like something out of a... Well, as I said, a more linear shooter. Okay... Shouldn't let my guard down. Though, there's the exit. Very good. So I can put my weapons away and just go out. Well, those people didn't seem very happy with me at all. Better watch my ass. Yep, I will do that. I kind of wonder where I will come out, because that will determine if I'm actually going to call it an episode and wrap it up, or if I'm going to do one more errand and get my, my clothes back. Very soon we will see. Soon as the game stopped loading, and any moment now, here we are. Okay, no, the game's still frozen. Now we can proceed. So where am I? Okay, way over there on the map. So that means I'm gonna stop recording for today. So you know the deal. I am your German snob. This is Let's Play Postal 2. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video and you will join me again next time. And until then, <laughs> well, have I. And people will laugh at you because, well, I'm, I'm wearing the gimp suit. Can't, can't blame them. But as I said, your German snob, Let's Play Postal 2. Be seeing you again next time. Until then, ciao.